Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Josh here from Keep It Techie, where I help folks get into tech and master Linux one project at a time. And today we're diving into something new that kind of caught me off guard, but in a good way. We're checking out a distro called Anduin OS. And it's crazy. This one looks a lot like Windows 11, but runs like Ubuntu under the hood. And it's super cool. It's a Linux distro built by a Microsoft engineer. And I'm not talking about a team or a company, just one guy, but he's doing some interesting stuff here. And if you're the type who wants Linux without giving up that comfy Windows look, or maybe you're trying to help someone make the switch without freaking them out, this might just be that distro you've been looking for. So let's break it all down. All right, so at its core, Anduin OS is a custom Ubuntu based distro that focuses on making life easier for people coming over from Windows. Now I'm at anduinos.com. And of course I had a link down in the description of the video so you guys can check it out for yourself. But based on me reading the site, the goal is to keep it light, keep it familiar and make Linux less scary for folks used to that Windows flow. It was built by a software engineer at Microsoft named Anduin Zhu, and I hope I'm not messing up your name. And here's the kicker. This isn't his job. This is a side project he works on in his spare time. And based on what I know, he's not trying to make money off of it. He doesn't accept donations as far as I know. And he's not adding telemetry or some weird spyware. He's basically straight up said, I built it for myself to feel comfortable. Now, currently they're on version 1.3.2 and it's packing a lot of cool features. One of the biggest is all graphical apps use flat packs, meaning better sandboxing, security, and cross distro compatibility. And here's a quick rundown of what you get with Anduin OS. Like I said, it's Ubuntu based, reliability, and huge package support. And like I just pointed out, flat pack by default, so containerized applications, better permission control, also GNOME desktop customized to look like Windows 11. And so this will make it a smooth transition for new users. Also, the ISO is surprisingly small, only at two gigabytes. So it's quick to download and install. And that's one thing I've been doing. I've been playing around with it for a couple days now, and I know I'm behind. I know a lot of Linux YouTubers out there have already covered this. I'm like the last in it. I've been dealing with a lot with family and all that stuff. My son graduated from high school this year and so i've been spending time with him and doing taking care of all the stuff around the house and all that stuff and i just didn't have time around dealing with the channel some time has freed up so i'm finally getting back into it and this is one of the first things i wanted to cover what's up y'all if you've been watching my channel for a minute you already know i stay talking about linux and if you're looking for a solid reliable enterprise linux distro let me put you on to rocky linux this is the go-to replacement for CentOS, and it's built for the community by the community. It's got everything you need for a stable and secure Linux experience, whether you're running servers, home labs, or enterprise workloads. And the best part is backed by CIQ, making sure it stays rock solid for the long haul. So if you're tired of these companies pulling a plug on your favorite distros, Rocky Linux is where you need to be. And I've covered Rocky Linux before, and trust me, it's worth checking out. So head over to rockylinux.org to learn more and get started. But another thing about Anduin OS is it's privacy focused. Like I said earlier, there's no tracking, no profiling, and no background data collection. And I remember this was one of the concerns with Deepin Desktop or Deepin OS because it came out of the People's Republic of China. And so it was a lot of skepticism on if telemetry data was being sent back to China. You don't have to worry about that with this distro. As far as I know, I've seen a lot of people review it and look into it and they haven't seen anything dealing with tracking and all that stuff. So you should be pretty safe with this distro. And it also keeps things minimal, no bloat, just a simple, clean desktop experience you can build on. Honestly, it feels like what Microsoft could have made if they ever embrace Linux fully. Now you guys know how I typically do it over here at Kippy Techie. I'm going to walk you guys through the full install 
in just a sec but here's a quick rundown right fast of showing you guys how to get it just hit download and you can download the latest version of it right here just go in there the 1.3.2 and you can find your iso they have the sha 256 you can download the version depending on however you want to download it you can download it directly there is a torrent file as well so just get it however you want to get it so you can try it out and then there's also links to the source code which is github you can check this out there's a little bit more information over here about the project and then also if you run into any issues there is a discussion board and it looks like it's very popular a lot of people are talking in here definitely recommend you check this out in case you run into any issues this is where i believe the developer is doing a lot of answering of questions and also fixing issues under here so as you can see he's fixing issues got 42 closed seven open right now so he's actually going through and trying to fix these issues along with the help that he's getting because it's an open source project and he's got a couple people contributing to it and helping out super cool now once you download it just flash it to usb or some using something like etcher and boot it up and run it through the super simple installer and you're in and i'll break it all down visually in the next part so go on and stick around all right so we booted up in our live iso and all i did was click on the install and do in os and it'll bring up the installer and all you have to do is quickly go through this thing it's super simple just like in ubuntu so just go through and install everything so download updates while installing you can install your third party it's just like ubuntu it's basically a ubuntu installer erase the disk you can do your advanced features just like ubuntu and you hit install now it'll go through and install it'll set it up however it specifies based on the way he created the iso and the way it sees fits los angeles that's good it recognizes my location let's go on create our accounts and i'm gonna just name this thing and and then let's go on and type in a super strong password it says fair but super strong password let's hit continue and just let it go from there and cool and then you just let this thing go and it'll reboot at the end and then you'll have your live system now, while this thing is installing, let's talk about what I really think about it. There are some pros to it and some cons. Let's talk about the pros first. So it's smooth and this is all based on me testing it out for the last couple of days. The performance is tight, even on lower spec machines. And I've played around with it on my extra laptops that I have around the house. And that makes it a win because it, it runs real good on low spec machines now the user interface super friendly is easy for windows users i put it in front of one of my sons and let him play it around with it and he was like oh is this windows and why does this windows looks it looks different he was able to get to the web and all that stuff and do whatever he needed let you know that is is super simple to figure out because of the look so i think anyone that's coming over from windows and like I said, both my sons, they're Windows users. He couldn't tell the difference right off. He could tell that something was different, but it wasn't too hard for him to figure it out once he started playing around with it. And so if I handed this to like my dad, who still refuses to leave like Windows 7, he probably just started using it without even knowing it's Linux. Now the Flatpak integration is on point, for easy updates, cleaner permissions, and the fact that it's open source and GPL version three license, chef's kiss. Now the cons, let's cover this. So single dev projects can be risky, which I'm currently involved in a single dev project. And you guys probably seen that on my timeline. I'm currently working on a project of my own by myself. But if Anduin gets too busy, or bored, the distro could go stale. But he did mention he'd go full time if sponsors showed up. So we'll see. Now, right now there is limited community support, but it's still the early days. So don't expect the same form or Reddit help like you get with something like Linux Mint or Pop! OS. And then also no flashy features like AI enhanced desktops or rolling releases. This distro stays in its lane. And you know what? That's actually a plus for some folks. Oh, and one more thing. There was some drama online about this being a Chinese distro or not trustworthy because of the developer's location. But look, the code is open. You can audit it. The idea that someone's nationality determines if a project has back doors is just not how Linux works. 
Let's keep it real and stay focused on facts. So that's it for Anduin OS 1.3.2, a clean Windows style distro for folks looking to get comfortable with Linux. If you're coming from Windows and just want to dip your toes in without a massive learning curve, this might be a distro you may want to try out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Would you use Anduin OS yourself? Would you recommend it to a Windows user in your life? And if you found this helpful, make sure you smash that like button, share it with a friend, and of course, subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel if you're trying to level up your tech skills and explore all things Linux. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay up, and of course, keep it techie. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech. Wow.